Hello and welcome back to Obtelic Crypto. Today we're going to be having a look at Litecoin. So I want um, I want to go through some potential price predictions that we could have. I want to have um, a look back in time at the the previous pump that we had back in um, 2017 towards the end when we hit all TMIs, and then some potential entry points going forward. So if you're interested in that, uh, make sure you slap a like and um, please subscribe to the channel. And let's dig into it. So starting off before we have a look at some potential price predictions, let's have a look at um, just some of the basics of Litecoin. So Litecoin currently ranked number 7 out of all cryptocurrencies at the moment, with a market cap of around $3 billion. Circulating supply is 64,661,606 with a maximum supply of 84 million. Moving down to some of the stats, so current price here, 46.65 US dollars. Um, all time highs we hit back in December um, 2017, a high of $375 or just over. Um, around that time, so late December 2017 to early January 2018, that's when predominantly all the, the top top 20 possibly more hit their all time highs. And then ever since then we've had um, quite a bit of a decline down. Moving across to the Litecoin website. So what is Litecoin? I'll just give you a quick little um, introduction into Litecoin. So Litecoin is a peer-to-peer -peer internet currency that enables instant, near-zero cost payments to anyone in the world. Litecoin is an open source global payment network that is fully decentralized without any central authorities. Mathematics secures the network and empowers individuals to control their own finances. Litecoin features faster transaction confirmation times and improved storage efficiency than the leading math-based currency. With substantial industry support, trade volume and liquidity, Litecoin is a proven medium of commerce complementary to Bitcoin. So, and then it just takes you through some of the basic uh, fundamentals. So they have um, a community which is spread across um, Twitter, Telegram, all the usual places, it's resources, it's, uh, it's an open source software, it's built by blockchain technology, wallet encryption and you can mine Litecoin. You can download uh, download all the um, applications which you can store your Litecoin in on the website directly from us and then scrolling down you have the links to the Twitter, Telegram and the Reddit. So now moving across to the chart, I'm looking currently at the Litecoin versus the US dollar on the Coinbase chart. It seems to go back quite far and it is fairly accurate. We don't have any crazy wicks like if you go into a Bitrex chart, etc. So yeah, this one goes back to um, August 2016, which is great for really. So what I want to do is just have a look at that pump that we had um, leading up to the, the all time highs back in December 2017. So to get um, a little idea of in what way we can pump. I want to take, so if we draw a candle on here now, I want to take this top wick and draw it down to, so we'll, we'll take that pump there, so it um, was November, so yeah, the month leading up to the, um, the all time highs, so we'll start in about November, yeah, we'll just change that to a nice colour so we can see it, green, yeah, have a little bit darker, there we go. So then what I want to do is take this candle and place it towards the end. Um, of the current prices now. I, mean, I just want to flip to a daily so it can get a little bit smaller that candle because it's huge. Yeah, it's better. So we'll put that there and that just gives you a little bit of an idea to the size of that pump over that couple of months leading up to the, um, the all time highs. I'm not going to say it will <laughs> just jump straight over that. It could, it could be several candles and it could be a long build up. So that's just showing me, yeah. That's still a bit less than the all time as. Where do we go? Yeah, because price is obviously a bit lower now. But what I want to do is, I want to duplicate that candle. So let's clone it. And we'll sit that one on the top of it. Because I believe going forward over the next couple of years, we're going to get some big price rises. I mean, it's not, it's not going to look like that, obviously. I'm looking towards so by the time we get to I'd say the mid next year possibly a little bit later on 
I'm expecting us to be up around here at this point. So, to get some levels of prices, what I want to do is draw the Fibonacci on. Give it Fibonacci set up here. From this current point, lowest point of the year, I'm going to take it up. I'm just going to use that as a level of that top wick. So these are some potential levels you could expect to see Litecoin go. I mean, it's going to take a while, things don't happen overnight. I mean, they can. In crypto, anything can happen. I say that to everybody, always be prepared for things to absolutely fly without even knowing. It always seems to catch you off guard. It always catches me off guard. But yeah, I mean, 900, is that out of a question? I'd say not. Is six, seven hundred dollars, is that out of a question? No, it's not. Nothing is out of a question. If the all-time highs were around, um, what do we say, about 450 to, oh, 350, let's just go back to coin market cap. Uh, here we go. So all time highs here, yeah, three hundred and seventy five dollars. So them prices will be broken. So that's around that level there. V six one eight. I'm expecting that but I am expecting a lot bigger rise of um a longer period of time because crypto eventually, in my opinion, will take over and some leading countries will end up starting to use cryptocurrency a lot more. So that there gives you um, a little bit of a prediction on my perspective where things can go. All these levels will be hit at some point in my opinion. And um, and I don't think it's out of the question that Litecoin can hit $900 at, at some point going forward over the next few years. So next let's have a look at um, potential entry prices. Let's just remove all this. And then we'll zoom right in and see where we're at currently. So what I want to do is take this highest point we've had recently and I want to draw the Fibonacci on and just draw the retracement. So I'll use that bottom wick there as an up and 382 level. So let's have a look. So we're currently around the, the 618 level which is um, it's been rejected a few times now. Um, previous lows of this year it hit $25 and in my opinion we can hit down there again with all what's going on at the minute in the world and the US economy and just today they announced that we're going to be printing another three trillion dollars and that is going to in the short term probably have a little a positive effect on the S&P 500 the Dow Jones but long term over the next year or so I'm going to <laughs> I really think the stock markets are going to suffer in America. The S&P 500 will suffer. Gold will boom. I mean, Bitcoin is still tied to the S&P 500, which makes you think, is it going to come down? And I've seen a lot of people over Twitter being very, very bullish due to the halving coming up. I just don't see it, in my opinion. I, I, I can see it's going down. Um, there's some CME gaps, um, CME gaps further down on Bitcoin, which needs to be filled as well. So. I think it's going to be a good idea to um, have some low ball orders sitting around the $25 level. If you're feeling very, very risky, then throw some down here. I mean, what's to lose? You could it could hit $11 at some point. You never if if everything crashes. There's no harm in having a couple orders down this way, just to even if it wicks down and then it moves straight back up. You you've got some low ball offers in there, but. I'm going to try and target some offers. I think some good entry points will be between $25 and $36 going forward. There will be, yeah, there will be great levels to get in at. So, yeah, that's my um, analysis on Litecoin. I think, like I said earlier on, $900, not out of question. $1,000, who knows? But yeah, that is my um, potential buying targets there. So. Yeah, let's see how it goes. So that'll um, wrap up the video for today. Thanks for listening in. Please make sure you like the video and um, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll, um, I'll catch you next time. Cheers.